Gnome Life, written by Will Shin and illustrated by Rien Portvillier, narrated by Fairy Princess Lolly. January. Late at night, a thick layer of snow covers the ground and the tree branches. Snowflakes drift lightly from the sky, glistening softly between the stars. Their food hidden by the snow, the forest animals have nothing to eat, but atop a tree stump in a small barn sticking out from the snow, Peter the gnome has stored the acorns, nuts, and seeds he collected last fall. The barn, the barn is reached by a flight of stairs stretching from the ground to the tiny door. A squirrel has accidentally knocked off the bottom step, which is now missing, but Peter does not mind. Hearing a muffled noise in the snowy night, Peter opens the door of his barn. Rabbit, Mouse, and Robin are outside, and they are hungry. Come, little friends. Here are nuts and seeds for all of you, Peter calls. Really, you ought to be sleeping. It is dark out, and you should all be in a warm bed. But I understand you were awakened by your hunger. Gnomes are only up and about at night. They sleep during the light of day, and this is why humans almost never see them. Peter does not sleep in the barn, for he has a cozy, warm house beneath the roots of a nearby oak tree, with another store of food for his family. When it is so dreadfully cold, Peter sits and waits for the animals inside the warm barn. He peeps through a slit in the door to see when they arrive. Many of them come very late at night, hoping for some food. During winter, many animals hibernate, or to put it simply, they sleep indoors all season. Bats, lizards, snakes, badgers, and bears all hibernate. So do most beetles. Only in the spring when the air and the earth's soil warm up, do these creatures' eyes begin to open and their bodies wake from a long winter's nap. Birds do not hibernate. Some prefer to leave home and fly instead to a warm, sunny place far away where they stay all winter. That's what we call migrating. In the spring, they return to make their nests. Those birds who stay in the forest throughout the winter sleep in the open air on a tree branch or on the ground, or sometimes in the eaves of a house. Poor little birds have a hard time in the snow because they cannot find the seeds and bits of food they need. Fortunately, birds' feet do not freeze quite as quickly as ours do. Robin is able to stand in the snow for quite a while before his legs become cold. And at night, when he sleeps, he huddles his body down over his legs and then puffs up his feathers, turning himself into a little ball. This keeps him very warm. Do the nuts and acorns in Peter's barn ever freeze? Yes, they do, because there is no stove in the barn. But it doesn't matter. They still taste good to the hungry animals. You can help Peter and the other gnomes feed the birds in winter by brushing away the snow from the ground and putting out some seeds or breadcrumbs. Or hang a bird feeder outside your window so you can watch the birds come and go. Just remember to keep it filled with food. Hello, friends. This is Gunfer Hammerhands. Thank you for checking out Fairy Princess Lolly's channel. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Use your troll hammer to ring that little bell icon to get notifications when she posts future videos. And if you'd like to support these magical creations, fly over to our Patreon and join the fairy family. Safe travels.